At first glance, the 3.5% of global CO2 emissions produced by the shipping industry seems reasonable. The maritime industry requests an exemption from the Kyoto Protocols based on this low number. However, there's more to pollution than CO2, and a murkier picture lurks just below the bow. The main source of pollution from the shipping industry is in the type of fuel in use, bunker fuel. And this comes from near the very bottom of the refinery process where you get the residual fuels called fuel oils. The very bottom of these fuel oils is the most used fuel in the shipping industry, bunker fuel. This fuel is so thick that it has to be preheated in order for it to flow into the engine and heated even further for it to combust. So when bunker fuel spills occur, the environmental impact is substantial and the cleanup effort massive. Because unlike crude oil, bunker fuel sinks to the bottom of the ocean, making it even harder to recover. Even in normal use, these bunker fuels are significant pollutants, as a single large cruise ship is responsible for the output of over 83,000 cars worth of CO2, 421,000 cars worth of nitrous oxides, a million cars worth of particle emissions, and 376 million cars worth of sulfur dioxide. The sulfur dioxide content is particularly alarming because liter for liter, bunker fuel contains up to 3,500 times the sulfur content of regular auto diesel. This means that the top 49 cruise ships produce the same sulfur content of over 18 billion cars. That's 13 times more than the amount of cars in use today. So for humans, these pollutants can cause premature births, inflamed airways, and allergen sensitivities, while particle emissions have been linked to over 60,000 deaths each year. Beyond humans, sea life has difficulty forming shells due to the lack of available oxygen. Additionally, the ship's engines cause noise pollution, which interferes with the mating calls of whales. And the ships themselves can be lethal when colliding with the whale, as a whale has a 79% chance of dying when it collides with a ship traveling at a speed of 15 knots. Looking to the other effects of the pollution from ships on the environment, it can cause acid rain and also bring about ground level ozone, which would prefer to stay up higher in the atmosphere. And in the oceans, this can lead to shallow water acidification. And beyond this, flora can be affected by increasing deforestation and even reducing crop yields. And in the polar regions, carbon is especially damaging as it can darken the ice sheets, turning them from bright reflectors of light to dark absorbers of light, causing the temperature to rise. It may seem surprising that a substance with so many environmental and health impacts doesn't get more attention. However, the reason for this is that it's easy to ignore this pollution emitted because it's done so in international waters, which is not counted towards the pollution of any one nation. So the incentive to announce a nation's responsibility in this regard is greatly reduced. Awareness of the effects of bunker fuel should be better explored and brought to light to investigate proper alternatives. And we'll be looking at some of these alternatives in our upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and we'll see you in the comments.